and it's not like you're in downtown Mobile anymore. It's, it's like you're literally in this big, beautiful garden where you're surrounded by uh, just God's presence. Just, uh, God's presence, God's the, just beauty of His creation, and it's like you step through those gates and you can leave everything behind. Cornerstone is is Christ. God in uh, Isaiah 28:16. Uh, told us about giving us the precious cornerstone and he in, in Isaiah he was talking about God was telling us he was going to give us Christ and Christ is our precious cornerstone and that's what the garden is named after. This is one that I think that the city of Mobile needs. We need to come together. We need a common place because it's, it is a case of we want all of the children and all of the churches Without the churches, the children might not have a proper beginning into their biblical life, and it's a good directional for them. It's a privilege to talk uh, to young people and the older folks alike that come from the groups from the churches about the reason for the garden, uh, because uh, the Lord has put all this together. Cornerstone Gardens was the idea, the vision, a Mr. Vaughn Drinkard and his wife, Linda Drinkard. They've invested their time, their talent, their treasure right there to create an English garden, a Japanese garden. But in addition to that, on the property is a carriage house. When we uh, developed the carriage house ministry for the pastors to come stay for short periods of time uh, in the carriage house, we developed the gardens as a place of uh, meditation and prayer for the pastors. So from there, one thing led to another, and the public started wanting to come in and see the gardens. And from there, uh, church groups have started to come, uh, uh, church schools and the like. Remember when Christ was crucified, the Roman soldiers put a crown of thorns on our Savior's head. This is a crown of thorns bush, and I believe it's basically what they use. The reason I believe that is a 5,000-year-old plant, first of all. It came from Palestine. It will eat you up if you grab that. This is a very sticky bush. Uh, it's, a, it's a bromeliad type family, but it's very malleable. If you have gloves on, you can bend this very easily into a crown of thorn. And that's what they used to crush on Christ's head uh, when they, right before they crucified the basin. We have a wonderful mission that we have begun. It's a combination of four different ministries, one being Faith Boundary, one Cornerstone Garden, and this is the Hallett House. We're excited about this ministry and this old house. 116 years old, and now has a great, great mission. Uh, almost one year ago, uh, we were able to come out here uh, with Cornerstone and meet some of the children that were being uh, hosted here from Ukraine. Uh, during that time, uh, while we got to spend time with those, with those children, we, we found two boys that we just absolutely fell in love with uh, and have since then uh, been in the adoption process uh, to adopt a 12-year-old and a 16-year-old from Ukraine. We were able to meet our daughter here, and so she was able to come out here and play a lot with the kids um, that were here from Ukraine. And so we were able to spend a lot of time with her out here as well as in the house. And so this was kind of our first bonding time with her when she when she was here, our first time meeting her and, and everything. So humbling to know that of all the parents in the world, God would choose us for these boys and these boys for us. They don't speak English. So actions speak way louder than yes. words here. And the actions of the couple here and mm -hmm. the cornerstone really speak to these kids and it breaks down the walls that allow the gospel to get in. You know, what, what I have found is that, you know, it's been great uh, being able to have somebody that, that um, shares in the same beliefs that we do, uh, to be able to be surrounded by people who you know are constantly, faithfully lifting you up in prayer um, and, just, and just surrounding you, your family, your circumstance, whatever it may be, uh, in prayer. I think about this garden is is very unique from its way it was made and I thank the Lord for all the plants and trees because if, if we had plants and trees we would never be here breathing. I like it very much. Totally a place of relaxation and just 
peace and quietness. You know, thanks from us, thanks from uh, past and uh, families that have been here for, for your future uh, mobilians uh, who have a chance to just escape what's going on uh, outside of these gates and be able to come here and, and be surrounded. Thank you so much for all of the time and effort that you've put in to the kids and into this ministry and you know because of what you're doing people like us are now going to have a family yeah. people like our daughter are now going to have a family and so that's that's really special to us and we really appreciate it. You know the impact that they make on these kids you know if we're being real not all of them will come to America and get adopted but that impact that we give right here will go back to Ukraine and hopefully spread throughout Ukraine and we've seen it and they're, that's great. Yeah, they're planting a seed even if those kids don't get adopted right now. Yeah. You can tell people about Cornerstone Gardens and Ministries. We love to have people here. We open the front gate at 7 o'clock and usually shut it at 7 o'clock but by appointment we can stay, we can keep it open into the you know night time if necessary. But my favorite scripture is John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life and that's open for all man.